Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Webgility Store module using a process called File Transfer Protocol or FTP. If you haven't already downloaded the store module, you can visit your Webgility customer portal login and sign in using your login email and the password you created when you signed up for your trial or paid subscription. Then go to the Downloads tab and select your shopping cart from the drop-down area in the Download Webgility Store Module section. You can check the specs and updates for the store module to ensure it's compatible with the current version of your sales channel by clicking on the Release Notes link here. There are also step-by-step -step instructions which can be viewed by clicking on the Add Store link in the Knowledge Base area. In this example, I'm going to use the Magento module and then click on the button to download the store module zip file and save it to my computer. If your site is maintained by a third-party developer, you can send the zip file to your developer to install for you. Now that my store module has been downloaded and saved on my computer, I can begin the FTP installation process. To install via FTP, you'll need an FTP client. Examples of FTP clients are FileZilla, FireFTP, or SmartFTP, which are all free. For this demonstration, I'm using FileZilla. Inside the module that I downloaded is another folder called Webgility. This folder contains the files needed for the store module to successfully send the data between the online sales channel and Webgility Unify. I'm going to put the Webgility folder on my desktop for easy retrieval. Now it's time to use our FTP client. To connect to my store, I need to enter a host name, a username, and a password. You may also need a port number if you have a secure access for your server. And click Connect. In the FTP client, FileZilla, on the left are the files on the computer that you're currently using. On the right are the contents of your online store server. A note about the placement. Each card is unique, so the location of the Webgility store module will differ depending on the type of online sales channel you have. Always refer to our help documentation to see exactly where the module should be placed via FTP in the back end of your online sales channel. Once you know the proper location for your channel, you can select it so the module is correctly placed. I have my FTP client minimized so I can easily drag and drop the Webgility folder into the correct location within my online sales channel server. Then wait for everything to load and the installation of the Webgility store module will be complete. The next step is to determine if your Webgility store module and its components are installed correctly. So you will need to check the location where the Webgility store module is installed. First, here is what the Webgility store module is comprised of. The first portion is your website name. The middle portion is the folder where you chose to place the Webgility store module. The next portion is the folder itself. And the last portion is the module designation, followed by PHP. To see your module, you can copy the entire URL into a browser to check the location and see if all the necessary server components are also installed. Here is my browser. I'm using Firefox, but you can use any browser. I've entered the location of my Webgility store module, and as you can see, here is my store module in action. All of the extensions that are required for the store module to function properly and securely have an OK, which means everything has been successfully installed. When you're connecting your sales channel to Unify, you can put the entire Webgility store module URL in the web store address area. and Unify will automatically detect the location of the Webgility store module and start the connection process. 
Just enter your admin username and password for your online sales channel and connect your store. Once you've done that, Unify will be successfully connected to your online sales channel. Thank you for watching.